welcome, good morning to all of you who have assembled here, who have taken pain to come from far and wide, or in general, and in particular, I would pay my homage and deep respect to Venerable Ponsam Rinpoche, who is our living Rinpoche in our chanted, not only in chanted, but in the Tibetan Buddhism in Sikkim and other places. I welcome Reverend P. Sivali Mahathir, who is the General Secretary of India, Mahabodhi Society of India, in his busy schedule, upon my repeated request, he has taken the trouble to come all the way from both where Calcutta here, and he will go back in two days' time. He has a tremendous busy schedule. This is the winter time, pilgrimage time, where all the pilgrims are gathering around all the holy places in India, and most particularly both there. I welcome our Tuku Antek, who was recognized by my father, our Rinpoche, our spiritual guide. Tuku Antek was recognized here in this very compound by my father himself. He is presently leading the Dankov Monastery, Grofanding Monastery in Dankov, Poland. And I wish him all the success and that he keep carrying his mission as a true guru who has been emphasized by my father to lead our Chanter, Kordong Chanter in particular, everywhere. I welcome Madam Dilpuri Bhandriji who has been here, who has come here all the way. We are grateful to you. I would also convey my thanks to Konsul Yantenna, whom I met for the first time, and I have met him over many years, but during the beginning of and planning and propagating the event, I went first met Konsul uh, Yantenna. I welcome amongst us sitting in behind uh, Pemala from Dali Gumba, who is known in the inter Karai area and for his marvelous work in translating Tibetan texts into Nepali, giving the meaning and pronunciation, bringing it to the mass. He's a great achievement, and we all thank him for his kind contribution. And also, I wish to thank all of you, my elder brother, Tuku Migni Dojila, his consort and his son, and all of you, the Hanidas, Lamas. <coughs> Best of all, the most of all, I would like to thank our small monks, nine of them. They have, under the guidance of our Lothans, has done a tremendous work tirelessly and with smile. I'm thankful to the local administration, police administration. They have uh, given their entire support into formulating this, carrying out this mission, and taking over the place security. Saying so, I would like to start why I'm standing here. I stand as third son of our dearest, respectable father, Tetran Tukul Siyar Lama. He, he was widely known as Professor Siyar Lama, more than Tetran Tukul Siyar We were five brothers and sisters. Professor Siyar Lama, Sir Bishwar University as the head of the department for many years. He was the first Tibetan professor, Rinpoche, who was requested by 
the government of India, led by Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru, to coordinate with the government of India and the people who are coming from Tibet after the uh, invasion. I don't know if it would be the right word or not. When millions of our Rinpoche's Tukus families came to India for their uh, making it their second home, we are all grateful to the government of India providing this as a representative, as a person who can speak about Siyadah Marimach. One thing he had emphasized, our people are not coming here only for food and cloth and place to stay. You have to provide our people to propagate their own culture, that our culture may not be destroyed because we are in a destitute situation. He was a person with a vision, not only for the Tibetans, for the cause of Buddhism in general, in particular for Champer. He was a court member in the Vishwarath University. It was always seen by Vishwarathi annual convocation committee, they used to request Rinpoche to lead the procession when prime ministers of India, who were normally uh, the chancellors of the university, he made an impact amongst all. The Holy Kashyadi Monastery, and then this, which is why the people and the mon monastery of Kashyadi, Holy Monastery, and this has a special relationship is because of Rinpoche and now his sons, Prabhu, Nikvila and Prabhu Upendra. So thank you very much for your welcome speech. May I now request... Although Chinese Nimpoche passed away uh, such a long time ago, already 20 years, our uh, grip, our compa is every day coming, uh, becoming better and better through the work of our uh, great Sangha members who are, whose devotion, um, who has the great devotion to uh, Chinese Nimpoche. Yes, all of us. Uh, today we are here mm. <sighs> one more thing. I would like to thank you 
thank all of you that you are here. I would like to say sorry for my speech. I would like to thank Chimeris in Impoche because we are here only because of his blessing. This uh, great, great monastery uh, is here uh, because of the blessing of uh, Chimeris in Impoche and so, uh, so is the great monastery in Poland. Chimeris in Impoche was amazing Lama who touched the heart of every being that saw him or heard him and uh, in the hearts of all of his students there's immense love for Chimeris in Yupacha and a lot of blessing and that's the thing that's keeping us all together and it's making Dharma grow in all of the uh, Kornong monasteries in India, in Poland, and in Tibet. That, uh, that's what keeps us together always. And that's what uh, increases, help us to increase the Dharma. Because that's the work that Chimeris Rinpoche devoted his life to increasing Dharma, <coughs> teaching and uh, explaining Dharma to everyone who wanted to listen, everyone who was open to it. So, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, my good morning to all. Uh, you see that one, it is not very convenient time for speech and being so hot to everybody. It's very uncapable. Yeah, but it is unavoidable. So time and chance is very limited. So I just want to say my thanks to you, see Damaji. Uh, you inviting me to attend this very auspicious. Uh, ceremony of paying gratitude to your venerable father's centenary, uh, birth centenary celebration. This is very important because uh, Buddha teach us to show our gratitude to parents. So well, you, everything you have already just uh, uh, spoken about how your father saw you the path of Dhamma to carry the message of uh, Dharma to serve the humanity. So that is where you are today. That is why you want to take the mission of your great father, uh, Venerable UC, uh, C.R. Lamaji. And he, I have seen him long before, I think when I was very young, when he was in Sarana attending some ceremonies. And when he was vice president of Mahabodhi Society of India. So I was fortunate to see and listen to his son of talks at that time. So I came here few years before to have the governing body meeting of uh, Mahabodhi Society and uh, you see Lamaji took me here to show his works and monasteries. So I'm uh, very much impressed that time. So he he was also as a vice president, he was working in Mahabodhi Society, uh, you see Lamaji and now he's uh, working as a governing body member of the society. So I thank you. You see, Lamaji, for your contribution to this this area, that uh, just uh, he Buddha asked Charita Bhikkhuvi Charika from Saranath, he asked us to Charita Bhikkhuvi Charika Bahojana Hitai Bahojana. So this was the first teaching to his first five students at Bhikkhus at Saranath. Charita Rao, Charita Rao, public service ke liye, jo go, Charita Rao na sabke hit ke liye, sabke sub ke liye. Sabko Santi Dene Keli, Sabko Ahinsa, Karuna, Maitri Sandeskisa. To ye hai, 
So I think this is how CR Ramaji, when he come from Tibet, with such a difficult situation, that time, 1950s, so maybe he suffered a lot. He definitely he suffered a lot. So now, if it is us today here, we must do our best to serve humanity. That is the great tribute to your father and great tribute to the all left this, uh, this beautiful world. So with these few words, on this very auspicious occasion, I, on behalf of Mahabharata Society, on behalf of all the members of Sangha, I pay my humble uh, blessings, humble respect to all the Rinpoches here and all the Lamas, all the, our friends here. May you all have the very uh, auspicious darshan of all the relics. So Buddha said, we cannot see Buddha today. So at least we should see Buddha through his Dhamma. This is the only way. Even at least if there is a, a tiny piece of his body, is so precious, is invaluable. If you can have a glance, have a just a glimpse of that, that's so precious. So we are fortunate, you are fortunate to have this. Thank you so much. Thank you for your patience. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much.